Hi, uh, welcome to Astro Journey UK. Uh, today's video is going to be slightly different to normal. Um, I'm actually at the International Astronomy Show in Warwickshire today and I thought I'd uh, take you along with me uh, so you can see what's there. Um, looking forward to uh, seeing all of the equipment on show. Uh, there's a good number of lectures going on as well, um, taking a couple of those and uh, I'll let you know what I find out. So uh, if you want to see what's at the show then uh, keep watching. <laughs> If ever there was a place where you would need to uh, exert some kind of self-control then it's definitely the show. Um, my experience in just walking around seeing uh, so much uh, fantastic sort of astro gear, um, fantastic for astrophotography, uh, I always love William Optics um, telescope so uh, this particular stand was a, a bit of a challenge for me um, but there's uh, yeah so much to be found here, um, anything from um, scopes, mounts, filters, a ton of visual astronomy stuff as well um, and there's actually some uh, some good prices to be had as well so uh, there's actually some good show dis discounts which is um, always nice to see and uh, yeah another cabinet here which um, I had to sort of tear myself away from uh, given that I love ZWO cameras um, they're shiny and red what's not to like about them and uh, yeah, you can also get discounts on these cameras as well. So uh, I just wandered around, um, looked at all of the, uh, the different stands that there were, anything from observatories to um, ways of moving your mounts around on wheels, um, loads of visual astronomy stuff, loads of scientific stuff, loads of um, little bits and pieces that you might need for uh, your astro rigs as well. Uh, loads of those little black rings and various other bits and pieces that uh, you never seem to have enough of. Um, yeah, great stalls. Um, I sort of spoke to uh, a photographer, which um, he was uh, selling his uh, night sky landscape prints um, really interesting guy uh, fantastic images and uh, yeah well worth a look as well um, this particular setup really caught my eye in terms of the ability to be able to switch cameras as well as to be able to do some visual um, which is kind of interesting um, yeah there's just uh, bucket loads to see at this place so uh, well worth uh, coming down to have a look Uh, you've got many different retailers here as well. I think um, First Light Optics are there. Obviously, Rother Valley Optics. Uh, you've got 365 Astronomy and uh, what is it? The Widescreen Center, I think they're called. Um, they've got a fairly big stand here as well. Um, so you're not going to be short of uh, being able to try and get hold of something. Uh, this little mount uh, caught my eye. Um, the ZWO AM5. Um, 
was kind of tempted to get hold of one of these. However, they didn't seem to have uh, have them available. I think it's because they're really struggling to get stock and uh, there were no discounts going for this either. So that was a bit of a shame, but uh, it helped my bank balance anyway. So uh, that's the end of the show, um, it's about 5 o'clock now, um, I've had a fantastic day, um, so just seeing everything in the uh, in the show, all the equipment, uh, having some great conversations with people, um, talking to a guy from Roboscopes about uh, remote observatories and um, yeah, deep sky imaging using their kit, um, although it's fairly, um, people don't see it as very practical. I'm beginning to think that um, I quite like the idea of it, certainly when uh, you think about how many clouds there are and things like that. Um, There's uh, great chatting to a, uh, a guy who's like a landscape um, landscape night sky photographer. Um, it's well worth uh, checking his stuff out. I'll put that um, a link in the description. And um, also a couple of really good talks. So there was one by, um, who was it, Gary, Gary Palmer, uh, did a talk about uh, sort of solar imaging, um, and did some very quick processing on the fly uh, for us to see as well. And there was another guy called uh, Lee Fletcher. Yeah, Professor Lee Fletcher from uh, University of Leicester. Um, and he did a, an excellent talk on um, James Webb Space Telescope. Um, showed some of the images from that, which um, we've seen before. But actually what he was more interested in was uh, planetary imaging and spectroscopy, which I'm going to struggle to say. Um, and yeah, just a really fascinating talk and you can see that he's, uh, he's very enthusiastic about that and um, yeah, fascinating and very well received. Um, so all in all, a uh, fantastic day out. Uh, if you're into astronomy, um, whether it's visual or um, astrophotography, if you live in the UK, then it's, uh, it's definitely worth um, going along to it. Uh, if you happen to be watching this uh, this evening and you're in the area, it's on tomorrow as well. So uh, yeah, why not go down? So I'll leave it at that. Uh, thank you very much for watching and clear skies. Mm -hmm.